14, 1942, is a very, very interesting entry in Fanny's journal. Dr. Urich came here this morning and said anime has the mumps. The health official put a tag on her door, meaning she was quarantined. Ira Longenecker had a nice little baby girl, three pounds. And I was at Herbert Fisher's house to help him with his chores. Fanny Grove. Snack, and it is called honey mustard pretzels. Now I'm going to share with you how I make these, and I like to nibble on these every once in a while, and it's really good. And I think it's lower fat than what some snacks would be. So let's tilt the camera down, and I'm going to show you how to make your own honey mustard pretzels. With you in the description box where this recipe comes from. That way you can make it on your own. But it's honey mustard pretzels, and what you do is you're going to take six cups of any pretzel that you like. And I'm going to add this whole bag. Might have been a little more than six cups. And to that, we are going to add three tablespoons of butter. And this is the three tablespoons. Now, it's not all totally melted. If you had a microwave, this would be really, really simple. But it's not totally melted, but that's okay because we're going to put this in the oven. I'm just going to mix it around a little. Chop up some of this butter. Three tablespoons of mustard. Now, I hope I have three tablespoons left. I have to make some mustard, and that's an upcoming video I'll be working on. And I know this may not look too appetizing at the moment, but you're going to bake this in a slow oven. It'll be baked in a slow oven for about one hour. So although it doesn't look very appetizing at the moment, it is an amazing snack. Okay, to that we're going to add... To that we're going to add two tablespoons of honey. Now this is a recipe that you can really change around if you like. You don't have to have as much honey. You don't have to have as much mustard. This is one of those recipes that you don't have to be precise at all. I'm going to stir it around a little more. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now I like the flavor of this. This is really good. And then to that we're going to add just a little bit of garlic powder. Garlic powder, and it calls for only an eighth of a teaspoon, which is not enough for me, so I add a little more garlic powder. And my friends, that's it. So we're going to stir it around really good. And we're going to bake this in 250 degrees for one hour and you stir it every 15 minutes and it is really good I'm telling you it is really good I've been making this for 15 years now so we're gonna just put it like that now there's little bits of butter technically you're supposed to have all the butter melted but I was trying to heat it on top of my stove on my oven and it wasn't heating right so just go ahead and use that in the microwave to heat up your butter to melt it that's what it looks like now you see some of the pretzels are coated more than others that's all right in fact these really coated ones are really good now a few of you are worried about the salt yes the salt uh, would be a little bit on the high side like with everything you eat this in moderation everything's moderation but uh, if you go to the website, they tell you exactly how much um, salt is in it, how much all of those, all of those technical nutrition it has on the website. So if you're really concerned about that. And I'm sure you can alternate it as well, however you would like it. But there you go, my friends. We're going to stick this in the oven for one hour. Then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's cooled and how I store it. Okay, the pretzels are done, and they are so good, my friends. If only you could smell them. Mmm. They're all cooled off now. So I take my gallon jar, and we fill them with it. And there you got a snack.
that's a little more special than just plain pretzels. So if you get hungry and you want to pick something up just a little bit to snack on, these pretzels are great. It has very little Worcestershire sauce in it. Now you know Worcestershire sauce is high in salt. It has very little of that in it. But I will share with you the website where they came from. And then you can take a look for yourself. But that is a cheap snack. You can also use it in the, the bigger pretzels. You can use any kind of pretzels. There you go, my friends. Great snack. Yum, yum. Thank you so much for your love and support to this channel. If you like this video, feel free to share it among your friends. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!